it is time for day six of the 12 days of giveaways. We're gone to the snow dogs. Oh, snow goes down Memphis. So you are probably wondering where the heck I got this awesome hood from? It's totally what you're wondering, right? If you missed it, in yesterday's giveaway, we're actually giving away one of these. This is the Brown Husky Italy Spirit Hood. So if you missed yesterday's giveaway, it will be up in the cards along with all of the other giveaways that we have done so far. Because you totally wanted to know where I got this from. Spirithoods.com, link's down below. That wasn't what you were wondering. You were wondering why there's a bike inside the house. Memphis, why is there a bike inside the house? Say, well guys, if you watched, <laughs> she just wants hugs. If you watched yesterday's video, you'll see that we got like four inches of snow last night. So, the bike's inside the house so I can talk about today's giveaway because today's giveaway has to do with the bike. We, Memphis is like, no, today's giveaway has to do with cuddles and cuddles only. Just cuddles, that's it. <laughs> uh, so today we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about how to safely bike with your dog. Now I've done some videos on this before. There will be a link up in the cards to all those videos so you can go check those out. And today's giveaway is actually being sponsored by Springer. Now for those of you that have been around for a while, you know that I bike with my dogs in two different ways. I bike jor with them where they are out in front of the bike. We have a long line, they're out in front of the bike. Bike joring works really well on trails where there's not a lot of people, where you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere because you don't have as much control of your dog. They're kind of out in front of you. But we live in the city and sometimes I like to just get on my bike and go instead of driving out to a trail. So what I use is this. This is a Springer. And this is what I would suggest you use for situations like that, where you know there's gonna be a lot of people or a lot of houses and things like that. Where are you going? Nobody wants to be in the video with me. So I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail about what this is because I've actually done that before. I have a video up in the cards that actually explains what this is, how to use it, how to train your dog to use it, the proper ways to use it, things like that. So you can go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But I will go over it a little bit for those of you that are new because I know that's an older video and a lot of you probably haven't even seen it. And eventually I probably will make a new one when there's not snow outside. I'd totally go biking in the snow, but this isn't a fat bike. It's just a regular mountain bike with skinny mountain bike tires. So maybe we'll get a fat bike from Santa Paws. Santa Paws, if you're watching, you should bring us a fat bike, Memphis and I, and Shelby. I don't know where Shelby is. I think Shelby's in the office with her dad. She's like, I'm napping. Leave me alone today. You can be the star of the video today. <laughs> uh, so basically what this is, is it is a unit, it's called a Springer and it attaches underneath the seat of your bike. It comes out in this big J shape and has a big spring on it. And what that does, when you're riding your bike and your dog decides to try to pull, this spring basically absorbs 90% of that pull. So it makes it safe so that your dog can't like jerk you over and pull you down. Now I will quickly say I do have my Springer modified. The Springer comes with a clip on it that is a breakaway clip so that if you do fall or if something happens, the clip is designed to break away. I actually have a metal clip on mine because my dogs pull really hard and they broke the clip kind of easily. So if you are gonna use a dog that pulls really hard, I would suggest maybe considering changing out the clip. Now when I do this with my dogs, I have a four foot leash that I also keep on their collar. Um, it is, it's a slack leash, so you'll see it in the clips that I'm gonna show you where Memphis and I were biking. Actually, I can just go ahead and show you those clips right now while I keep talking. So as you can see, there's a leash hanging down in some of these videos. That's because I have a short leash attached to her collar as I bike, just in case if the clip gives way or something happens, I still have a hold of her. So as you saw in that clip, when we do this with the dogs, we use these harnesses here. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask about the harnesses. This is an urban harness from alpineoutfitters.net. If you wanna find out more about these, come back tomorrow. Might possibly be a giveaway that has something to do with these tomorrow. Just saying, just kind of throwing that out there. This harness is outfitted with three D-rings, which is nice because this comes off of the side. Since it comes off of the side, you can hook it to a side D-ring. And then Memphis can pull next to the bike. I'll show you another clip so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Hello. 
Now biking with your dog is actually a really, really fun way to tire them out and get them a lot of well needed exercise. Memphis and I can actually bike you know, five to 10 miles depending on the weather. Uh, sometimes she'll go really far and sometimes she just doesn't want to go as far, but it's a great way to keep them exercised, to keep them healthy, to keep them entertained, to keep them not bored because you can tire them out. Uh, when Shelby was a puppy, her and I used to do about 10 miles every other day on the bike using this. This is also a good way to start them training for sledding commands. As you're turning, you can use haw and G and whoa and hike. So they kind of will start to learn their sledding commands. The nice thing about this is when you turn, you kind of give them a little bit of push and a pull so they don't really have a choice. They kind of have to go the way you want them to go, which is nice because if you use the commands at the same time, eventually they figure out which way you want them to go. So anyway, all of that said and done, today's giveaway is going to be one of these springers, which is really awesome. If you wanna buy one of these springers, I'll also have an affiliate link for those down in the video description below as well. But if you wanna win one, we're gonna give one away. So what do we need from you? First thing we need from you, leave a like on this video. The second thing we need from you, comment on the video and let us know, have you ever been biking with your dog? Or have you ever wanted to go biking with your dog? And if neither of those things, what is your favorite exercise activity to do with your dog? Let us know. Memphis is like, snuggles is my favorite exercise activity ever. <laughs> uh. Now on to the giveaway. If you've been watching for the past five days, then you probably already know how to do this. Down in the video description below, there will be a link. Click that link, it'll take you to our website. On our website, there will be a nice big thing that says, enter the giveaway. And then there'll be a whole bunch of different ways you can enter, which include watching this video, being subscribed to our channel, and then a whole bunch of other things. Following us on Instagram, following us on Twitter, following us on Snapchat, and all of our other social media sites, and many other different things, and retweeting things. And there will also be a daily entry on there as well. So you can come back every day and do the daily entry. Now I mentioned in yesterday's video, some of the b videos at the beginning of the giveaway, I said we're only gonna last seven days, and I kinda made a mistake, because I want them all to end after the 12th day. So at the end of the 12th day, you'll be able to go back through all of the giveaways and at least do the re-entry. If you already entered, you'll get to do another entry. And if you haven't entered and you missed one, you'll be able to go back and do those again. She's like, why do I have my harness on and we're not doing nothing? This isn't fair. This is not fair. You'll notice that Shelby is nowhere to be seen. Do you know why? You'll find out in tomorrow's video why Shelby's nowhere to be seen. If you guys have been around long enough, you'll know why. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, that is all we have for today's video. I'm super excited that we're gonna be able to give one of these Springers away to you guys. The, this is, I have had my Springer, gosh, Shiloh would have been 15. So I've had my Springer for 13 years. I used this before I did bike drawing. I used this before I did dog sledding. This is perfect if you have one dog. If you have two dogs, you can actually get another attachment on the other side and you can run one dog on each side. I do recommend you train your dogs before you do that. Again videos about that up in the cards above. So that is all we have for today's giveaway. Good luck, don't forget to get entered, and uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. If you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us continue to grow the audience. As always, you guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again tomorrow. You just want hugs all day long, just hugs, just hugs, that's it, just hugs, that's all. Just hugs and snuggles and hugs and snuggles. I love you. You're such a good little actress. You're so good. Oakley's napping over there and Shelby is gone. She's like, nope, you got the harness out. I'm gone. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Bye.